All right, glitter, essential oils, and a little wax. It's the basics you need to make a natural candle. Okay, I got a chance to put my skills to the test with Brandon Love of Crumble Candle Co. to make a better Kansas City candle. All right. Now, spoiler, if you do this at home, you might need a little help keeping the wick upright. Okay. So where do we start? So the first thing you want to do is melt down four pounds of wax in a pot and then split it between two pots. You can use a double boiler to melt your wax down. And you'll have to eyeball it. We okay. have cherry, we have vanilla, and then we have some musk fragrance to kind of give it some depth. So you take your fragrance oil, you pour a little bit of each inside of it. Okay. You can eyeball it, it's not that serious. Around four ounces in total for four pounds, so an ounce per pound will do you justice. And so we're gonna have two colors here. You can get liquid dye at the same kind of craft stores, or online, eBay, Amazon. Okay. So a big old fat squirt of red to make sure it's really nice and dark and Halloween-y. Okay. And then this is purple for the very top. You just need to give it a good whisk. Not that intense. Can I stir this one? Oh, yeah. I gotta have my hand in this a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna let you pour them. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, there we go. Okay, I'm, you're really starting to smell the fragrance come up through this candle or the candle wax right now. Oh, yeah. So if you use essential oils or perfume oils, as soon as it gets heated, it actually activates the fragrance, which is how, how we fill all these houses up with the amazing aroma. We got to start with purple. <laughs> I'm a K-State grad, so love the, oh, heck yeah. love the Wildcats. Let's get that down first. So you're going to grab your two glasses here, three glasses, how many you got. So you want to wick them. I'm going to let you wick this one right here with some household essentials. So when you actually add the wax, the wick itself is going to get a little more flimsy, a little more wiggly. So you're going to use something like a ruler like we have here, or a pencil, which you should always have at home, to kind of center it and then tape it to the pencil. Wrap it around the top and you should be good. Okay. Ready to pour? Yeah, let's pour. So you can pick your purple and then fill it as high or as low as you want it to go. Okay. And this one's purple and this one's red? Yes. Okay. I would fill it pretty low, by the way, because we're going to let it cool. Okay. So here goes nothing. And if you let it splash on the side of the glass, it'll actually give a cool little ombre effect. Okay. <laughs> well, well, good thing he told me that after, because I guess I'm a natural now. <laughs> you are literally steps ahead. Okay. And then for this one, an extra little fun step you can do is to slosh it on the sides. It'll actually melt the purple inside of it as the red melts, and then you'll get a cool kind of vibrant violet oh. that comes to life as you melt the candle down. Through TV magic, this is actually all cooled down and we're ready to pour? Oh yeah, I just put it, you know, through the magic box and everything was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I'm gonna go slow so, you know, the purple doesn't kind of rise up. We're gonna see how well Belinda can follow instructions. So should I stop about, like, at the edge of that purple? Go a little bit more. Perfect. This is something you're going to let it sit for like two, three hours before you go put it away on a shelf or something. Let it sit on something that's non-flammable so you don't burn your surface. But then you can use non-flammable glitter, edible <laughs> glitter, something that's not plastic or metal to top it off with. And then you have a candle. I like your uh, your choice of color there in purple. So of course we're both mm -hmm. K-Staters, so that's always good. And, 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 and he likes the glitter too. Well, obviously I'm a glitter fan. But Brandon went ahead and he lit that candle for us, our Better Kansas City Case TV5 candle burning brightly in his shop today. All right. You can see it right there. Well, thanks, man.